I'm impressed by youthful enthusiasm. When I set children to a task, something I think they can learn and show me, they usually come back within a moment or two and tell me, I can do it, I can do it. And then they say, watch, and I watch, and they mess up. And they go, I can do it, I can do it. And then they'll try again, and they'll mess up. And maybe a third, or a fourth, or a fifth, and then eventually they get just exactly what it was that I asked. And I go, great. When you can do it three times in a row without making a mistake, call me again and show me. And I let them go and practice some more. When I coached a trampoline team with seven children on it, they had to do a routine of 10 skills in a row and 10 bounces in order to compete at the higher levels. And they would say, look, I can do my routine. And, they, and I'd watch, and the same thing would happen. They'd mess up, they'd goof, they would get through it, maybe, and eventually they got through the whole thing and, yup, did it. I go, great, when you can do it three times in a row, let me know. So then they'd practice, and they'd come back, and they could do it three times in a row. I go, okay, now we have to work on this move, this move, this move, because you did the moves, but you really didn't do them that well. When you can do it three times in a row perfectly, call me again. And sometimes that would take days or weeks. It rarely just took minutes. If you want to get good at doing something, it's going to take some practice. For those children, we got to the point where when they could do it perfectly ten times in a row, then we knew they were ready to show me and show the rest of the world what they could do. We took those seven children to the national championships that year and all seven of them took first in the nation because they were willing to practice. If you want to get good at your health routine, be willing to put in the practice.